this Friday, as always, we're always asking, where's Brittany? Hey, hey Brittany, uh, we know that uh, it has something to do with bubbles, but I'm not feeling like a bath bomb. I don't think it's those no, types of I bubbles. So. I don't think so. Those are more of the fizzy bubbles. These are the fun, beautiful, round, floaty bubbles. And we actually are talking to a bubbleologist. Did you know that existed? I didn't until just a couple of minutes ago. So we have Steve Langley, who is the bubbleologist. Tell us a little bit about how you got into this. Well, I was a juggler for many years, and I wanted to set a Guinness World Record for bubble juggling. Bubble juggling. So I started studying bubbles and learning about soap and just became enamored with the art form and sort of reinvented myself from a juggler to a bubbleologist. I love that. And yeah. you've been doing this for about 10 years 10 now. 10 years as a bubble entertainer, yes. And you have nine Guinness World Records. I have record, set record nine wins. Guinness World Records, yes. Quite proud of that, yes. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> All right. So now everybody wants to see the bubbles. So let's see. Because you have a couple of a bubble records. So maybe show us one of those. Well, that was one of the ones I demonstrated earlier. The, okay, the chain, so the hanging one. chain, the caterpillar. Yeah, that was one of the records. Let me put some bubbles inside of a bubble. That's always a nice effect. Let's make a nice big bubble there because things are always bigger in Texas, as they say. So that's a nice bubble. Let me see if I can't put some bubbles inside of it. Here we go. Watch close. <gasps> bubbles, bubbles. Look at that. They just appear. And here I comes the fun part. Watch this. Watch this. <gasps> They're stopping. Fly away. Get them. Get them. You know you the want to kill my bubbles. The most satisfying part is popping right. the bubbles. All right. And do we have time for another one? Of course we do. Okay. Let me see. Yes. I've got another cool one. This is a cool one. This was called the. Uh, Soap bubble volcano. Ooh. The soap bubble volcano. So I'm going to start out. Got to get one big bubble going. With a nice, big, beautiful bubble on my wand. I like that one. That's a nice bubble. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a little uh, vapor here, heated glycerin in water. You notice there's a lot of science to we'll this. We'll put a little vapor inside the bubble, and then we'll see if we can't make the volcano erupt. Here we go. Oh, there she goes. Oh, my God. That is so We've got fun. A geyser. Oh, how about that? That is awesome. Oh, and then you have even more bubbles. Vapor bubbles. How about this. that? And Isn't that cool? It's so fun. And when <laughs> kids are learning about this, I mean, they're also learning science. Yes, indeed. It's bubbles. Lots of math, lots of science, lots of amazing uh, things to teach with bubbles. And they're not only entertaining, but they're educational. Oh, they are so yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much, Steve. Thanks for having me. And you have three shows a night. Three shows a night at four, five, and six. Here in the Oak Farm Theater, is that right? Oak yes, Farm it is the Oak Farm Theater. We got, okay. theater. We got and that. And also, I've got a bubble tricycle, an LED. I call it the electric Kool-Aid bubble trike. Oh my gosh! And I'll be riding that in the parade at night as well, bubbling oh. the crowds in the parade. So yeah, that is so much fun. Looking we love forward. this.